Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to talk about something called the communication process, which is really the backbone of how we're going to use communication theory in the rest of this course. Um, remember, communication theory is um, are basically theories about how people communicate, how to more effectively communicate with people, um, and that kind of stuff. And the communication process really speaks directly to communication theory um, and some of the theoretical things that we're interested in and some of their practical um, applications in signage and whatnot. So first things first, though, we're going to talk about communication process. Okay, so the first part of the communication process is that basically if you are a manager and you're putting up, let's just say, for instance, a sign, um, you're going to want to capture visitors' attention. Um, so visitors, especially when they're at a trailhead, they're often like, rid like ready and raring to go. Um, they're not really seeking information at that point. Um, there's a lot of like different competing things for their attention. Um, like they want to like get going. They're thinking about things they might be missing. They're thinking about the hike. They're thinking about plans. They're just excited to go, right? Um, so in an outdoor recreation setting, it's really important to develop materials, signage, pamphlets, exhibits that really capture people's attention. And we have separate lectures on each of these. So we're going to actually talk specifically about how to capture people's attention in a, in a future micro lecture. So first, we want to capture people's attention. Attention. Um, and then after we have their attention, so after they actually look at the sign and they say, hey, that looks like a cool sign, I want to look at it, you actually want to sustain their attention. And what that means is that you want them to actually read the whole sign and to think about the sign, to think about the message in the sign, to think about what they're reading, and really to have them keep reading it, to keep finishing reading all of the important information that they need to know um, to act in, let's just say, an ecologically or socially appropriate appropriate way. Um, and then after that, uh, you want to often persuade them to change their behavior, right? So um, maybe you want to persuade people to practice leave no trace ethics, or maybe you want to persuade people to follow the rules um, on a trail when it comes to camping or when it comes to um, uh, staying on trail. Like there's a variety of different rules and regulations that you might want to persuade people to do as an outdoor recreation manager, right? So we've captured people's attention. Hopefully we've sustained their attention. Hopefully that, you know, we can persuade them. Um, and lastly, Ultimately, what we want to do is change people's behavior on the ground. Um, we want them to follow the rules. We want them to practice leave no trace. We want them to um, avoid conflict. We want them to do a variety of different things um, that align with the management goals of that space, right? So this communication process, we want to capture attention, sustain their attention, persuade visitors, and ultimately change their behavior. That's the goal, changing behavior. So one example of changing folks' behavior um, might be for them to, quote, recreate responsibly. Um, so recreate responsibly, it's a coalition of land managers and for-profit folks and non-profit um, land, land management folks uh, across the country who are trying to promote responsible recreation, especially in the time of COVID. Um, so basically, we want people to know these seven different things um, when they're or before they are recreating, right? So know before you go, check the status of a place you want to visit, um, practice physical distancing or social distancing. We want folks to plan ahead. We want people to play it safe. We wanted people to explore locally, to leave no trace, and, and to build an inclusive outdoors, which is kind of a, a broader um, goal of Recreate Responsibly, right? So these are kind of the things that uh, at least the Recreate Responsibly Coalition wants folks to do um, in outdoor spaces. Um, and and if you look at this sign, right, it's not particularly engaging, um, it's not particularly vivid, it doesn't have um, a lot of the good qualities of um, a, a sign that is informed by communication theory and communication research. And I think by the end of this week, you're at least going to have a good idea of what I mean by that. Um, and by the end of the semester, you all are going to be experts in how to create really good signs that capture people's behavior, or sorry, capture their attention, 
sustain their attention, persuade them, and then ultimately change their behavior. So that's the goal. Um, and we, again, we're going to learn how to do that um, the, for the rest of the semester. You're going to create um, a pamphlet for your final project in which you're trying to change the behavior of boaters along a river corridor to um, camp in more responsible ways. Um, so we're really going to be doing an applied project, and I think that's super exciting. So that's what the communication process is. Communication theory and theory in general is really going to inform how to capture people's attention, how to sustain their attention, how to persuade them, and ultimately change their behavior. Um, so that's what we're going to do for the rest of the lectures. We're going to talk specifically about the communication process. So I hope uh, this is exciting for you. This is really cool. If you want to persuade people and change their behavior, there's actually like scientifically informed ways on how to do it. I think that's like so cool. All right. There you go.